When we first learned algebra together, we started factoring polynomials, especially quadratics. We recognized that an expression like x squared could be written as x times x. We also recognized that a polynomial like 3x squared plus 4x, that in this situation, both terms had the common factor of x, and you could factor that out. And so you could rewrite this as x times 3x plus 4. And we also learned to do fancier things. We learned to factor things like x squared plus 7x plus 12. We were able to say, hey, what two numbers would add up to 7? And if I were to multiply them, I'd get 12. And in those early videos, we show why that works. We say, well, 3 and 4. So maybe this can be factored as x plus 3 times x plus 4. If this is unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to go review that in some of the introductory factoring quadratics on Khan Academy. It should be reviewed at, the, at this point in, in, in your journey. We also looked at things like differences of squares. x squared minus 9. Say, so, hey, that's x squared minus 3 squared. So we could factor that as x plus 3 times x minus 3. And we looked at other types of quadratics. Now as we go deeper into our algebra journeys, we're going to build on this to factor higher degree polynomials. Third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, which will be very useful in your mathematical careers. But we're going to start doing it by really looking at some of the structure, some of the patterns that we've seen in introductory algebra. For example, let's say someone walks up to you on the street and says, can you factor x to the third plus 7x squared plus 12, x. Well, at first you might say, oh, this is a third degree polynomial. That seems kind of intimidating. Until you realize, hey, all of these terms have the common factor x. So if I factor that out, then it becomes x times x squared plus 7x plus 12. And then this is exactly what we saw over here. So we could rewrite all of this as x times x plus 3 times x plus 4. So we're going to see that we might be able to do some simple factoring like this, and even factoring multiple times. We might also start to appreciate structure that brings us back to some of what we saw in our introductory algebra. So for example, you might see something like this, where once again, someone walks up to you on the street and says, hey, you factor this, a to the fourth power plus 7a squared plus 12. And at first you're like, wow, there's a there's a fourth power here, what do I do? Until you say, well, what if I were to rewrite this as a squared squared plus seven a squared plus 12. And now this a squared is looking an awful lot like this x over here. If this were an x, then this would be x squared. If this were an x, then this would just be an x. And then these expressions would be the same. So when I factor it, everywhere I see an x, I could replace with an a squared. So I could factor this out, really looking at the same structure we have here, as a squared plus 3 times a squared plus 4. Now, I'm going really fast through this. This is really the introductory video, the overview video. Don't worry if this is a little bit much too fast. This is really just to give you a sense of things. Later in this unit, we're going to dig deeper into each of these cases. But just to give you a sense of where we're going, I'll give you another example that builds off of what you likely saw in your introductory algebra learning. So building off of the structure here, if someone were to walk up to you, again, a lot of people are walking up to you, and say, factor 4x to the sixth minus 9y to the fourth. Well, at first, this looks quite intimidating until you realize that, hey, I could write both of these as squares. I could write this first one as 2x to the third squared minus, and I could write this second term as 3y squared squared. And now this is just a difference of squares. So it'd be 2x to the third plus 3y squared times 2x to the third minus 3y squared. We'll also see things like this where we're going to be factoring multiple times. So once again, someone walks up to you in the street and they say you're a very popular person. Someone walks up to you, stays up to you on the street and says factor x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. Well, based on what we just saw, you could realize that this is the same thing as x squared squared 
minus y squared squared. And you say, okay, this is a difference of squares, just like this was a difference of squares. So it's going to be the sum of x squared and y squared, x squared plus y squared, times the difference of them, x squared minus y squared. Now this is fun because this is to a difference of squares. So we can rewrite this whole thing as, I'll rewrite this first part, x squared, x squared plus y squared. And then we could factor this as a difference of squares just as we factored this up here. And we get x plus y times x minus y. So I'll leave you there. I've just bombarded you with a bunch of information. But this is really just to get you warmed up. Don't stress about it because we're going to go deep into each of these. And there's going to be plenty of chances to practice it on Khan Academy to make sure you understand where all of this is coming from. Enjoy.